um, hear this sometimes from girls. I'll only date you if you have less than 200 followers. If you have more than 500 followers. What? Yeah, like I hear that type of stuff and I'm like. What? <laughs> how, how? Well, because if you have more than 1,000 followers and you're just uh, out there all the time with everybody. Like, so I need somebody what? who only has 200 followers because I know they're not doing anything. That's just a, um, that's like, that's just like a judgment before you even know the person it's like you don't even give a person a chance um because of that it's like an external thing i think oh yeah it's external in one way but it's internal in another way right because it, it reveals a pride about mm. somebody it reveals a i need to i need to you can't make me feel a certain type of way so that's their own pride taking over and that pride is causing them to... I mean, it's kind of like celebrities, if you think about it. Like, how many celebrities only date other celebrities? They won't date, like... They won't date a, a normal guy, or they won't even date, like, somebody on the film crew. It's like, no, I have to... If you ain't another celebrity, you know? It's kind of like that. Absolutely. It's a... Uh they call them social economical statuses like if you don't fit in our class then you can't yeah. <laughs> you can't sit at our table you're not cool it's back in yeah. elementary school like you're not cool enough to sit at our table so. oh yeah like it's that type of childish mentality rather than valuing somebody for who they are what are your core characteristics what are your morals what are the things that you hold dearest to you you know those are things that for me, yeah, make someone another human being opposed to the status. Yeah, like, don't yeah, me. and don't get me wrong, the status is nice. Like we all like to have nice things, but <laughs> nice things are what's validating you more than how you conduct yourself. That's where I see the problem. Yeah, exactly. I think, like me, for example, my goal. I always tell everybody, my goal with this podcast is to just keep doing it until I get to top 100 charts and then <laughs> that's my goal yeah. but then when i get there i'm not gonna stop you know and then that's gonna come with some sort of status but i think that's that's your point you have to have a balance of even if you did have status it doesn't necessarily mean you're gonna disregard people that aren't on the same status level of, of you you know, and I think that's uh, where it gets like confusing because <laughs> it's like, oh, you don't have a million followers. Why should I even talk to you type of thing? You know, yeah. and I think that's just that's just another problem that social media influencers have to deal with. Um, and that's a big problem with fame, too. Uh, you've heard stories people famous people committing suicide um, Robin Williams uh, the Nirvana singer um, it's like once you yeah when, once you reach a certain level of fame or something it's like you start to you have to find that balance within yourself because if you get to that fame without finding that balance within yourself, it could, you could start to lose yourself in the fame. You could start to lose your identity, start questioning who you are, because you have so many people watching you. It's hard to figure who the hell you are when everybody else is like commenting or just all online and saying who you are or what you should be or how you should portray yourself um, to the internet. Well, you bring up a good point um, because in order to achieve something, I'm a firm believer that you need to become a person who can achieve it, right? You got to become the person who can hit the one on top 100, right? You got to become that type mm -hmm. of individual. For me, it's to be the number one speaker in the Southwest and then in the nation on substances and recovery. So I got to become an individual that can meet that standard, right? 
What you just said, though, brings to mind that when you, when certain individuals get into those statuses, whatever that status class is, they start unbecoming. Like they stop trusting themselves. They start unbecoming who they are because they get so so many comments about who they are. Because they have so many external factors. Yeah. So they be unbecome who they are that got them to that place. And when that happens, that's where we see them spiral out of control. And I can relate totally to all that stuff um, because on top of like the other stuff that I shared earlier, I, I was a decent academic mm -hmm. in school. I had a full ride wrestling scholarship that I gave away. Like there was things that I had become. Yeah. And because of all the external voices, I wanted to unbecome that version of myself and become something that I created. Mm. Right? So that's yeah, that's a mind hack right there. Uh, are you unbecoming? It's uh, it's hard because you have to. I think it's about remembering where you came from, and being humble in the process of reaching that status because it's like okay i reached the status i got the 100 charts i got the number one speaker um but then you have to not lose yourself in who you did become and remember your humble beginnings of what got you there to even start on this path because then if you if you don't and if you disregard those humble beginnings and you just embrace the full becoming of this new you, you know, you could lose yourself. Yeah. Absolutely. And that reminds me of what some of the greats say, like, keep on doing what got you to that spot. Like, if you look at all the athletes that became great, well, they kept it to the fundamentals. They kept on doing the same things that got them to that spot. What are the things that took you to the top 100 charts? What are the things that took you to the uh, number one speaker? Are you still doing those, or do you think that those are beneath you? Like, that's, that's where I think it really can be a fork in the road for individuals. Yeah. I heard uh, um, from another podcast, it was like the CEO of uh, like some Fortune 500 company, and he was like saying like, he was saying that same thing. He was like, sometimes you do have to remember where you came from, even though you're like this successful, whatever, millionaire CEO. Sometimes you do have to go and take the trash out or clean your office and do the, uh, I guess, like grunt work or whatever um, to remember where you came from. Yeah. I think that's a portion of that status is that you have so many people doing it for you that you forget what it's like to do it, right? Yeah. You know what it's like to scrub a toilet. Everybody's had to scrub a toilet in their life yeah. at some point in time, right? Like, if you've lived on yeah. your own, you've had to scrub your own toilet. So like, when you forget how to scrub a toilet, it, that's when you start losing. You it. take it for granted. You don't, he's like, that's beneath me. Like, why should I do that, you know? Remain humble, everybody, while you're reaching the top. Do your best to remain humble, remain grateful, and respect everybody on every level. And remember where you started. And also remember what got you there. If you like this video, subscribe for weekly podcast clips thoughts etc stay curious i'll see you in the next one peace